Hi everybody and welcome to day seven, day seven of the sexy life challenge. We're going strong. Who's still with me? How many of you have done any of the challenges from the previous six days? I'm gonna do a quick recap here to, um, I'm not trusting my memory to remember. I'm gonna give you a little recap here. I'm gonna read my notes. So day one was to make healthy change more fun. Day two was to add more humor and laughter. Day three was to dive into a thought-provoking book. Day four was to observe your real talk, your self-talk when things get real. Day five was to get a visual. Yesterday, day six was to get out of your comfort zone. And today, day seven, is to get out of that funk. Are you in a funk? Are you in a funk today? Have you been in a funk all week, all month, all year? I don't know what your situation is, but I do know that, um, I mean, I have my uh, low enthusiasm days for sure, you guys. This whole shenanigans involved with running your own business and growing a, a brand and all this stuff and working with clients and the right clients, it's not easy. And um, I, I've got, I've got um, a lot on my plate. And here is basically how I managed to get back on track and get out of a funk. Because it's all really, it's in here. It's in here, you guys. And if we can get this back on track, we, we are unstoppable. So here's, here's what's going on. We have um, today. Today I, I have been in a funk. And it's not because, because I was at Costco and the lines were ridiculously long. It started way before that. And honestly, now I'm in the habit of, um, of having me time in the morning. I wake up. I meditate, I do my visualizations, I am on track for the day, I get in the right state of mind. And I've been doing this for consistently for for the past year. I got off track for a little bit around the holidays, I got back on track in December and I've been going strong since. And I will tell you it makes a world of difference. So that's my thing. I get up in the morning, I drink 10 ounces of water at least. Um, I, I go to the bathroom, of course, um, and then go straight into meditation, visualization. I do a few key affirmations. I drink some more water. Um, I listen to something that gets me motivated and gets me going in the morning, and then I take on my day. That is my morning routine. I know that's a lot. Um, I just said that really, really fast. If you want to know more about that, just let me know personally. Message me. Um, so anyway, I have a few key steps uh, that I personally take whenever I'm in a funk. And here's what they are. The first step is to identify what is going wrong. And why this is important is because uh, once we actually write it down and we verbalize it, we can see it, uh, sometimes we see how silly the things that we think are going wrong actually are and that they're not really things that are going wrong. It's just something that didn't meet our expectations or isn't going exactly the way that we, we, we want it to. Um, really, it comes a, a lot back to expectations. So I like to write down the first step is to, to figure out what do I think is going wrong. And then the next step, step two, is to figure out what's going right. And what I find is that when I, again, when I actually take the time to think through things and write them out, I see that there's there's always a lot more going right than there is wrong. Even if I have 20 things going wrong, our, our brains are wired to look for what's wrong. It's survival and safety. And I mean, we're not trying to, to get rid of that. There is a part of that that's definitely useful and we want to we wanna be able to access that. But we want the choice to be able to more readily find what is right. And um, I've been training my brain to find what's right and it, it becomes more readily accessible now, way easier than it used to be. Um, so step two, what's going right? So now you have what's going wrong, what's going right, and step three, what are your next action steps? And more specifically, what is the next action step? Because it's easy to get overwhelmed 
by you know, all the things that we have to do and, and, and then and in trying to frantically sort through what's more important, what's urgent versus what's important and what's urgent and important. And then and, and it just becomes this frenzy of, I don't know what to do. So whatever you do, do not confuse activity with accomplishment because they're just not the same thing. We can hide behind busyness to avoid the bigger questions in life. And I, I completely understand. Um, I did that for a very long time. And all that did was add to the overwhelm and the frustration. So um, instead, I mean, we can ask ourselves the bigger questions like, why am I doing this? Why am I really doing this? What is, is this the most effective strategy? Do I need to be the one that's doing this or can somebody else help me? Who can I ask for help? Really just training ourselves to ask better questions. And I've talked about this in, in my podcast and in some of my videos, but asking better questions, so key, so key. So look at your big vision and reverse engineer the main action steps that need to be taken in order to get to that point. And then you just break it down into smaller action steps. Now, um, as you can gather, it's all about action, but not just any action, meaningful action. And as long as you keep taking meaningful action, you will get momentum. Now for me, my funk today is all, it was all about I, I just getting in my head again and not making things fun. Um, I, if I can be completely honest with you, I'm, I'm searching for a particular kind of woman um, at 10 of them, 10 women who fit a very particular description uh, profile uh, because this is the woman who I feel the most compelled to help with, you know, a, a few particular things. And I'm about to open enrollment for the Sexy Life Academy. And I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, uh, for moms who are raising a family and growing a business and you know they want to tap into something else something greater within they want to they want to be able to unleash some more of their greatness and and still thrive in their relationships and take care of themselves and build emotional intelligence and all of these really important things that literally impact every single area of life and I've been having conversations with women and, and preliminary, you know, who, who are you? Why are you doing what you're doing? What's your vision? And I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm struggling to find all of just the right kind of, of person to invite, to even invite into this program. And so, so it, it had me, it's had me a little disheartened because I'm like, I know that there are, that, that there are women like this out there. And part of my, my thing is that I, I, I don't know why I'm, I am limiting myself to people in San Diego because this program is 100% online and even the coaching calls are online um, through video chat. So that there's a good question right there. It's like, why am I limiting myself? What can I, what can, how can I open this up to still the right demographic um, but in other areas. So anyway, that's where I'm at today. I'm, um, you know, I don't like to be in a low enthusiasm state and now I've got to get myself back in a good mental state and it helps that just before this, um, Ryan was, was, um, learning a new toddler song because it's Vivi's new favorite and, um, he played it like 10 times. He was, playing this little good night song over and over again. And it was really cute. I just walked into the living room and their song is playing. I'm thinking the toddlers are asleep. Why is their toddler music playing? And Ryan's learning this new toddler song. You're such a good dad. This is awesome. And then he turns on my song so I can dance. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, I just need to laugh and just not take myself so seriously right now and get out of my head and smile and loosen up because that's when the, that's when me shows up. So anyway, getting out of the funk, you guys, we don't have to stay there. We don't have to stay in a funk. Also, it helps to think about what you're grateful for. I know that's like 
been beat into us so much now at this point. People are, are just bursting with gratitude statements and why it's so important and how much it changes us and it changes our, our, our brain and everything. I, I totally believe it. I buy into the hype. I do. And I think you should too, because gratitude does so much for us and our mindset in getting out of a funk and staying in a good place. Um, so I hope that that helps you. Again, three steps for um, helping you get out of that funk is step one, identify what is going wrong. Step two, identify what is going right. And step three, identify what are your next steps. So again, today your challenge is to get out of that funk. If you have some notes, some comments, some questions, feel free to post them here. And I'm gonna get back to being resourceful. Check this out. All my business cards laid out on my table. <laughs> so I can have more of those conversations. That's my next step, having more conversations with potentially, you know, with people who are a potential good, perfect fit for this program. If you know somebody who would be a great fit for the Sexy Life Academy, please let me know, send them over. I'm gonna actually include a link um, for more info in the comments here so that you can check it out. Again, the Sexy Life Academy is for moms who are raising families and growing businesses. These are my people for this program. We're gonna get deep, we're going straight to the heart of where, where you wanna go and who you are, and I can't wait. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for day eight.